guys today i'm gonna show you how to create this design here since it is day 23 of creating one street tour design per day for 30 days this design here can be considered a bootleg vintage type of design to create this design i will need to use one word that was randomly extracted from a word online generator which is ride so let's jump in photoshop okay so to start things off i just want to tell you that for this design here i'm gonna get some inspiration from pinterest in pinterest you can find a ton of inspiration so go check it out if you haven't already and what i want to do for this design here is to get an image of a car i chose this car here not because i like it well i think it's kind of cool i'm not that big of a car guy i i'm not that fascinated for cars but i just like how it's structured but i think that a lot of car guys really like this car i've seen a lot of tiktoks and stuff about it so i'll just use it now that we did this introduction i think we can just focus on what i'm doing in photoshop so the idea i had for this design was to put to create a bootleg vintage and cutouts type of design to achieve this kind of results i will include different elements that represent the bootleg type of theme so of course i will use gradient maps uh, and i will use really bold fonts uh. moreover i want just to make it clear that this is my first tutorial that i'm putting on youtube on how to create a bootleg type of design so i will not go that deep since i think it's just the start so if you want more just leave a like and i'll see if this video goes well i do another one of course because this is how youtube works so we can just continue with the cutting out the shape of the car i'm using the pen tool this in my opinion is the best tool to just remove some background since it focuses on actually removing uh, with an outline with a sharp and precise outline using of course some points as reference and so it's pretty nice to use it so if you want to create a bootleg with maybe a wrapper or with other stuff uh, i suggest to cut out your main subject using this feature here since after if you would like to print it on a t-shirt you will need to have a precise line uh, for the subject the next step after removing the background is to actually customize because i think in my opinion customizing the actual car is just the best thing to do because you don't want to include some random stuff on your t-shirt you just gotta create a design which all the small details count so i just decided to remove the license plate and just add my own uh, let's say license plate number on the license plate what i'm doing here to achieve that kind of vibe is to use these two fonts the first one is a monument extended and the second one is a curly font i can't remember the name but you can see it on the left top part of the photoshop screen so now i'm just trying different positions for the actual license plate logo and i'm using even different blends uh, different opacities different i'm even blurring a bit the logo just to make it as if it was real and i think it's working pretty well now it's time to create the other elements for this bootleg type of design i firstly decided to just browse some fonts on my library just to decide the perfect font and the perfect match for this design i firstly started with this college type of font but then when i searched some inspo on pinterest i decided to go with this other font here i really like it because uh, one it's pretty bold is really bold two it matches the kind of font i wanted to follow and it's really similar to the pinterest font there so i just decided to use this font here with a pretty similar gradient to this pinterest inspo that i'm taking account and i really like this kind of gradient uh, since i like the combination of the dark blue then uh, white and then pink this pinkish whitish is really really nice uh, then i decided to get a main outline of the concept i wanted to just spread uh, so in this case since the word was ride uh, i associated it with alone so ride alone or die or 
ride alone to survive, something like that. I decided to use it since, in my opinion, if you want to succeed, you will need to put your and yours truly mind into it. Only yours, because only you will achieve uh, what uh, you actually want. Also, if you want to survive in this fascinating, a uh, really quick world, uh, you will need uh, to just work your way to the top. So this is the kind of metaphor I want to follow. And also, the world is moving fast as the car I'm designing. As you can see, I'm just planning this metaphor here. But of course, you can just think whatever you want. It can be also just a random quote. So you decide the weight of it. So what I did till now to the text, uh, right alone, is basically that I added by double clicking on the layer, on the text layer, I added a gradient map with the, the two colors that I said before, and then added, or I will add later, some texture, some grunge texture over it. Afterwards, I created using another type of font, it's a more luxurious and fragile font, I decided to create the other part of the sentence which says, which says to survive, so right alone to survive, and I really like the contrast of the fonts uh, together since it's a really bold font on the top part and on the bottom part it's a really fragile type of font. And in the middle of the graphic, as you're seeing right now, I'm adding the card that I was just cutting out earlier. And before I said that I wanted to use a threshold effect, which basically turns an image into a two color, let's say vectory type of design. I decided to just change the plans and go with a half tone type of design using the filter gallery inside Photoshop. So how can you just create this effect here? Well, it's pretty simple. You just gotta go on Photoshop, go on the menu top bar, the most top part of Photoshop and just go on filter and then filter gallery. From there, you can just choose a lot of filters to add on your design. What I suggest to do is to add the half tone if you want to do that kind of uh, screen printed and uh, vintage type of font, uh, type of uh, vibe. And also here, I decided to add a texture over the text uh, just to create a more vintage bootleg type of design. So here I'm just messing around with colors and gradients just to create the best possible gradient map ever. I'm just messing around as you should too. So I suggest in all of my videos to just mess around and have fun with it. Here what I'm doing is that I'm just aligning all the text and finding a good position for all the different elements uh, that will create this bootleg design. This is a really precious part of a uh, design creation since without this part here, the design will not have the shape it has as the final result. Also, you gotta keep in mind that the design needs to have some sort of layout and it needs to be neat and aligned precisely. Why? Well, because otherwise if you put all the text, as I was doing before, just curved in different ways, then all the concept will just get lost and the design will be just messy and will look really messy. So what I'm doing now in this part of the design is that I'm actually just grabbing other elements that will help me design some logos that I will need to put on this design here. And this uh, actual racing uh, flag, I will put it on the bottom as if it was the actual lane of the car. This is a really smart idea that came up in my mind by accident since I wanted it to use it to create an actual design, an actual logo for this graphic, which by the way, I will be doing it afterwards, but I decided to use it to create an actual path, a lane for the car to just ride on. This is the idea I want to follow and I will add the gradient map over it as well. So I will just need to modify it later a bit. I will add also the half tone effect or even some grunge texture over it uh, just to finish things off uh, and even just to place it the best way ever so now is the moment in this part here is the moment that i realized that the t-shirt is getting somewhere that the design is getting along pretty well since uh, just uh, this accident here 
that I added the flag of the start or of the finish line in the bottom part of the car this accident here led me to create this design here another smart thing to do if you want to create a streetwear design is to actually add some text uh, which uh, fills in some gaps in the t-shirt uh, just to create a more interesting and complete design so here i decided to mess things around add some uh, texture and some even a gradient map over the text uh, but I didn't like how it came out since I wanted to create a more bootleg type of design so not that I will need to include not that much text just a little bit less and I will put it in the middle rather than in some different places just because uh, as I said before the layout is really important and so if you're creating and putting some text on the right you will need to do the same thing on the left or just make it as seem as if you will put something on the left because it's more just precise to do it like this so this is what i was talking about earlier so putting the text in the middle with a gradient uh, or uh, i'm not sure about putting the gradient i will need to just decide later for now i'll just keep white text uh, now it's time to create the logos that i was talking about earlier why logos why should you create a logo well because i like the idea of creating a logo for an hypothetical clothing brand or even racing for a team there are different teams it could be racing team or even other teams for other genres such as maybe art team painting team spray paint team something like that and i really like the idea of creating sub groups uh, for my clothing brand so related to specific garments so when you have that garment there you're being even part of a separate hypothetical team as if i'm collaborating with an actual team of racing in this case so this is the kind of idea behind the logos by the way i will put two logos one on the left and one on the right of this design here why why like this well because of the layout I will also add a racing flag in the middle of uh, the two GMS racing text uh, on one logo and on the other one I will want to just include the idea of Global Mind Studio so my brand name Global so maybe a globe with something related with uh, a car or the same actual car so now I'm just changing things up in the placeholder text uh, in the bottom part just because i want to make it more personal to my brand rather than just inserting some random description which by the way i usually do so i just uh, started writing some stuff uh, which uh, made some sense when i was writing it i don't know if it makes sense now but we will see at the end of the design once it's printed so now that I'm done with the first graphic, uh, I think it's time to just create the second logo, the second graphic logo, which will include a car. At the start, I decided to just grab a random vector car from the internet, but then I decided to just grab the car that I had and just added a threshold effect over it. Uh, personally, I prefer the other car logo, but this one here is really fire as well. So I added the gradient map uh, as I did even in the other text uh, for the other logo, and then added on top other things. As you can see, I really like the fact that the car is pink, uh, and the other parts of the logo are blue i really like the contrast and then i added with the same text of the bootleg main text design the other gms racing team with some sort of stroke in the outer parts just to make it clear and crisp to just just to make it clear to the reader what you're actually reading because it's a little bit hard to read. What I want to add to just finish this graphic here is basically creating a chess type of flag, the one basically that I added on the bottom of the car and even the one that I added on the first logo that we created but with an exception with the actual squares inside Photoshop and with the colors of the gradient since i firstly 
decided I tried to add the gradient directly on an image but as you can see in the bottom part of the design on the bottom of the car that kind of gradient went lost so I just decided to recreate it with simple colors like that and then added two globes white globes because my brand name is called Global Mind Studios and so globe is uh, let's say my icon my go-to icon and for this graphic here is really nice so I think we can just put it on a mock-up and enjoy the final result here is a short reflection using three criterions to create this design here I'll catch you tomorrow with a new graphic bye bye